We now have the pleasure to be joined by Oki Lee, who's the presenter of Engaging All Students in Science. Such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you, Sasha. <laughs> so talk to us, what is your main focus of the presentation this year? So the main focus is that science provides opportunities for all students, particularly English learners. Okay. So the focus that I would like to emphasize is that doing science using language. Oh. So traditionally when we think of a learning language, we see a list of a vocabulary terms and these are the prerequisite words that all students should know before they engage in science. Right. The way the science is done, um, according to the new standards, is that we are starting from where science is, and that means students are engaging in science by trying to explain a phenomenon, an interesting, compelling phenomenon they would like to figure out. Mm -hmm. So it's a something local, something personally compelling, and as they are trying to figure out a phenomenon, they are engaging in science, meaning that they are doing science. Mm -hmm. So as they are doing science, then they get the experience of what it is, and okay. they are trying to communicate their ideas. Okay. So they can use all ways of a com all modes of a communication. They can use their home language. They could use a gesture. They could point out, mm -hmm. and then eventually they may say, "I would like to show my data using tables and charts and symbols and arrows." And then they will say, "Oh, trying to say." by speaking and listening in English, but then eventually they will go into reading and writing in English. So what I would like to emphasize is that learning language is a product. Okay. It's a not a prerequisite, and it's a not a precursor to do science. Okay. So we are flipping about learning language, not learning language to the science, yeah. but they are doing science, and then they are using language. I love it. Yeah, a whole, a whole, a whole new concept. So, what do you hope the attendees of, of your presentation will take home with them? Will take away? So they are going to see that science instructional ships and language instructional ships are mutually supportive of, of each other mm -hmm. for all students, especially English learners who I work with closely. So, given one example. When you think about language, people tend to think of a language in the English language arts area as language as listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So it's a linguistic modalities. Okay. So when English language learners come to a classroom, they are expected to speak, listen, read, and write. And when they are not able to speak English yet, then they are sitting, sitting in the back and not engaging in science. Right. Now, when you come to science, science has a lot of non-linguistic modalities like, like pointing out, drawing, the physical, mm -hmm. the, the objects. You can also use the tables, the charts, arrows, and symbols. And these are all non-linguistic modalities, right? Right. So, so science opens up the opportunities for English learners while they are studying or as they gain English proficiency. Mm -hmm. So I can use an example, like that I just arrived from Korea. I have a great ideas about science, but I'm just starting to learn English, right? right? So I could be brilliant in science because I have a great ideas, but when I go to English class, I don't speak English, so I'm, it's, I'm poor Oki, but in science, I'm brilliant Oki. So what science does is that it provides the opportunities for students to communicate ideas about science using all modalities while I'm learning to speak, listen, read, and write. So that's one example that by seeing the intersection of a science and language, mm -hmm. and also knowing that science instruction and language instruction are mutually supportive of each other. Right. That science provides all the linguistic, but especially non-linguistic modalities. And those non-linguistic modalities are effective for all students, but particularly English learners as they are learning learning language, right. but they are still communicating ideas about science using all modes of a communication.
So what do you hope to see in the future in regards to all students? Okay. Science teachers have very important contributions to make. So I'm hoping that science teachers will take a seat at the table with English language arts and math and then serve all students, including English learners, so that English learners are gaining access to all subject areas using any modes of communication. I love it. Oki <laughs> Lee presenting us with a whole new way of looking at science. It's such a pleasure to have you here with us. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>